Shine bright like a diamond. It's diamond time. Welcome back to the Freeze of Air office. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out some more Spence Diamond ads with Valentine's Day quickly approaching. Of course, old man Spence is gonna be trying to get in on that action. Sarah? Yes, Callum? Why do so many people get engaged on Valentine's Day? Think about it. Every time I think I understand the characters in these ads, they just change it up. And then I'm like confused all over again. You know, I thought I had like a good system. You know, I thought, you know, Michael's pretty dumb. Sarah's a bit hectic. And then Callum's the guy who just keeps them all together. You know, but apparently not. Callum is also pretty dumb too because he doesn't know why so many people get engaged on Valentine's Day. You've worked at a fucking diamond store forever now. Fucking what the hell? We're only 10 seconds into this ad and my heart rate's already through the roof. How can Callum possibly not know why people get engaged on Valentine's Day? This is just a wild thought, but maybe it could be that Valentine's Day celebrates love and romance. Like maybe that would be why somebody would want to get engaged on that day. At the rate these ads are going, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep on watching these. Think about it. I have been thinking about it. That's why I'm asking you. Even Sarah's like, come on, think about it. And then Callum's like, well, I still don't really know why. It's just, it's a really tough question. Nobody has really answered it yet. You know, you type in, why do people get engaged on Valentine's Day into Google and nothing comes up. Callum, do you really and truly not know why people get engaged on Valentine's Day? Sarah's like, you really should know this. You learned that shit in elementary school. Sarah's like, do you remember when you'd go to the store and you'd buy the box of like superhero Valentine's Day cards and then you'd tape a chocolate to them and then you'd go around and give one to everybody in your class because you had to be sharing and you couldn't leave anybody out. That was actually probably a bit after Callum's time because in those days you could just give a Valentine to like the people you liked. You didn't actually have to give it to everybody. You didn't have to be fair in those days, you know? Maybe Callum was one of those kids that never got any. And then so he just didn't associate the day with anything. You know, he just thought it was just a regular day. He didn't realize it was like a holiday or anything. I'm really stretching here as to how he doesn't know the answer to this question. It's a pretty standard North American holiday, so he should really know about it. Is it because that chubby little angel baby shoots people with those love arrows? <laughs> you mean Cupid? Yes, that's his name. Although I'm pretty sure he's a they really done Callum's character dirty in this ad. He's like, oh yeah, Valentine's Day, the one where Cupid shoots people with arrows. I'm pretty sure he's not real though. Like, I'm pretty sure. I think he's made up. Don't quote me on that though, you know? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> like, what? I know Callum's supposed to be the softer, more delicate character of the group, but they didn't have to make him dumb. You know, he's acting like he's four years old. Today in school, my teacher told me that Cupid shoots you with an arrow and then you fall in love. Callum, Valentine's Day is the day we celebrate the joy of romance with the person we're in love with. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Okay, that makes so much more sense. Now, okay, I get it now. Is he real though or, or is he not? In previous ads, Callum's always advertising engagement rings and pendants. So like, does he not know why people buy those? Next, he's gonna be asking Sarah why people get married. He's like, yeah, a lot of people always come to our store and buy stuff like rings, but like, what do they do with it? Like they put it on their finger, but like, why? Getting engaged is the Stanley Cup of romantic gestures. I guess if getting engaged is similar to an elimination style tournament of four rounds, each with a best of seven games, then it's probably pretty close. This couple's like, okay, to decide whether we're getting engaged or not, we're gonna do four rounds of a best of seven rock, paper, scissors. So right, and if I win, we're getting engaged, all right? So okay, here we go, rock, paper, scissors. But then again, theoretically, if there's only four rounds, they could tie, so then they'd have to do like another round as like a tiebreaker round if it came to that. Maybe using sports analogies isn't the best way to talk about getting engaged. That's like the World Cup, but for hockey, right? You're close, Callum, but not quite. The Stanley Cup is a North American tournament, whereas the World Cup, like countries from around the world can compete in it. So a better example would be like CONCACAF, which is a soccer tournament that happens in North America or the Copa America which is a tournament that happens in South America. The Stanley Cup final gets like 4.5 million views whereas the World Cup gets like one and a half billion views so they're not really comparable. Sarah you're really smart. Thanks Callum. You're usually pretty smart too. Sarah's like yeah Callum you are usually pretty smart but today you're acting dumb as fuck. like what's gotten into you like what's going on man. I'm starting to worry about Callum's sanity. In the last ad I reacted to, Callum was like confused about who made him in charge of Spence Diamonds. Did you ever figure out why I was chosen to run Spence Diamonds? Yes, I figured that out a few months ago. Will you tell me? And then now 
He doesn't know the answers to simple questions. Like, has Callum had a stroke? Maybe Callum has dementia. Whatever it is, he needs to go to the doctor and get checked out because, like, this is not looking good. All these are pretty bad signs. If you had a relative who was acting like this, you'd be like, okay, uh, yeah, let's go to the hospital. Yeah, let's get you checked out, all right? Because this is not normal. Okay, enough of that one. Let's move on to another ad. Callum. Yes, Michael. Love is where it's at. Love is where it's at. Love is where it's at? Callum, this whole thing was your idea. Callum, this whole thing was your idea. Like, what's going on with you? Is there anything going on in that brain of yours right now? Like, hello? You came up with this ad read. This was your idea. How do you not know what we're doing? It seems like Callum maybe does have some sort of memory loss. Next, Callum's gonna be like, where am I and uh, who are you? What, what am I doing here? Oh, you're talking about our new pendant for Valentine's Day. Yes, Callum, the $99 diamond pendant that's shaped like an ad sign. It's a bit weird because in some Spins Diamond ads, they talk about the ad read that they're doing in the ad. Michael? Yes, Callum? Look at your phone, Michael. I just texted you another ad we're recording. We need you to read your lines. And then sometimes it seems like it's just the conversations that they're having, and that is the ad. The whole thing's a bit confusing, but that's just the nature of the Spence Diamond universe. Yes, Callum, the $99 diamond pendant that's shaped like an at sign. Because love is where it's at? The design was your idea, Callum. A sentence ago, he was like, oh yeah, the diamond pendant for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I know the one. Oh, you're talking about our new pendant for Valentine's Day. And then now he's like, love is where it's at? And then Michael's like, don't you remember the pendant that has an at sign on it? Did he forget what they were just talking about in the previous sentence? And then now is having to re-remember the whole thing again? If you're ever in a mental state like this, do not go to work. Stay at home, you know, and sort yourself out, all right? The design was your idea, Callum. Isn't that what you were trying to say? No. So then Michael's like, isn't that what you were trying to say? And then Callum's like, no. Like, what was Callum trying to say then? Callum just sounded confused there. He said, love is where it's... At? Callum's just trying to weasel his way out of this situation like, no, 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 I know exactly what's going on. You know, that's not what I meant at all. I meant to say it like that. It's all, it's all fine, guys. I meant to sound confused for the ad. For this next part in the ad, I want you to brace yourself because you're about to witness the most groundbreaking conversation in radio history. Isn't that what you were trying to say? No. No? No. Did he say no? Yes, he said no. Can we just stop? Like... Nobody asked for that. I'm lost for words. That was truly amazing. The way Callum said no, then Sarah said no, and then Michael said no, and then Sarah said, did he just say no? And then Michael said, yes, he said no. It just doesn't get any better than that. You are so lucky to witness this type of writing. When I show it to my wife, I'm going to point to the at sign and say, this is an at sign. And then I'm going to put it around her neck and say, and this is where my love is at. Is it just me or does that at sign pendant seem like really cheesy, you know, like giving somebody a pendant that has an at symbol and then being like, this is where my love is at. I don't know, like I'm sure some people would like that, but that just seems really cheesy in my opinion. Okay, I found the pendant and this is what it looks like. On first glance, I wouldn't say that that looks a lot like an at symbol anyways. I think it looks more like a an E. But it's not that bad, I guess, you know. So there we go, that's the end of this video. If you've managed to keep your sanity throughout this, that's pretty amazing. I'm kind of jealous, honestly. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and please subscribe. And if you haven't, why not check out some of my other videos I've made on Spence Diamond ads. Whoa!